Hi there, it's Samantha from Using Technology Better and I just wanted to give you a couple of updates about some new features in Google Drive. Now, the first one is the new Intelligent Search and this has been available in the Enterprise Edition of G Suite for a little while, but it's really great to see it now in the other editions, including G Suite for Education. So how this works is if we come up the top to the Drive search box here in Drive and just click in it, you'll see now that it's got a record of previous search terms. Also though, it pops up some names of people that you've been sharing stuff with recently in your team and stuff like that. And I can click on any one of them to quickly see all the files that person has shared with me. So for example, if I was to click on Lara, it's quickly gonna do a search for owner Lara at usingtechnologybetter.com and show me all the files that she has shared with me. Now let's get out of that and jump back into the search box. The other thing down the bottom here is you'll see it's got all of the different, uh, some of the different um, G Suite apps and different file types and also edited today. So again, I could click on any one of those and quickly see a whole lot of videos and stuff like that. So if we go say videos, for example, it's gonna do type video and it's just gonna bring up all the recent videos in my account. And they might be things that are in team drives or my own drive or things that are shared with me. Now, if you wanna go even deeper, you do still have the traditional advanced search, which you can get to either by clicking advanced search here or by the little drop down box. And that will give you the traditional um, boxes that you've always had to further filter your search results and find what you need. Now, the, that feature is rolling out as we speak, as I record this video. So you should see that in your account very soon. Um, the other one that I want to show you is still in beta. So you won't necessarily have this yet, but hopefully you will see it soon. So this is a little bit of a sneak peek so you can get excited about what's coming. And it is the priority um, section in Google Drive. So you'll see on the left here, I've got my My Drive, my Team Drive, shared with me, all of that other stuff. And above that, I have got priority. So this does a couple of things. The first of all, it shows you um, at the top, files that have recently been opened or edited by you or your team, things that it, um, Google thinks might be of priority to you. Um, and that uses their machine learning behind the scenes to try and figure that out. And it will continue to learn and continue to grow. Very similar to the quick access that you would have seen in my drive. Um, the other thing though, which is my favorite, is that it's got this thing called workspaces. And this allows you to curate content that's appropriate to you and create a little workspace for it. So you'll see I've got an example here, Google Certified Educator Level 1 Bootcamp, which is something that I run quite often. I ran one last week. So I've got a folder with all this stuff in it, but it's spread a couple, a couple of places because I share it with the team and it's stuff I need to get to really quickly when I'm running a bootcamp. So what I did was create a workspace and I just put the four or five files that I need during that event in the folder. Oh, sorry, not in the folder, in the workspace. And that's a really important difference. So it was a good slip of tongue for me there. A workspace is not a folder. It is just a curation of a whole lot of files in one little spot here that you can use kind of like a shortcut list. Now, if you want to create one of these, once you do have this feature, just click create workspace. And I'm gonna call this one blog posts and create it. And what's gonna happen is it'll open up and if you've named it something quite sensible, like I have, when I say sensible, related to what you actually want to put in it, it actually goes away and finds files that might be relevant to you based on having the word blog post in it or something like that. So you can see here it suggested some for me. So if I wanted to add them, I could cop, um, click a couple and click add selected files. It'll add them. It'll keep suggesting more all the time. Um, and I can keep going up here and clicking add files as well. So at the moment, the maximum I can add is 25, um, but hopefully that will grow over time as well. So if I click done, you'll see now I've got my blog posts workspace with the files there and I can just double click on them to launch them. It'll just show a, a summary. You'll see like this one here, it's got five showing. If I wanna view the others in there, I can go view one more. Now, if you end up with a lot of workspaces, what you can do is you can click on the little um, drop down arrow and hide ones that you're not using and it will show down here in hidden workspaces. So this is really good, I think, in a school context for um, subjects that you're currently teaching with the topics that you've got coming up so that everything is there really quickly to find, or it might be that you're going to do a presentation and you want stuff in there. 
um, any other administration sense or corporate sense, just projects you're working on at the moment, um, things that are coming up. It just might be a files that you open every day, you know, that might be really relevant to you. So I'm sure you can have a think about how this tool might be useful in your job to help with your efficiency. So there you go, look forward to the priority um, paying coming and also you've got your intelligent search to get started with hopefully very soon. So thanks for watching. Thank you.